So, do you want to see something new today? Stay tuned because I'm Aaron and this is Talking Points. So what's up everybody, and welcome to the 50th episode of Talking Points, which we're calling Super Talk 50. Not really, no. I'm just kind of saying that because uh, yesterday was Super Bowl 50. You know, you keep up with sports, that's the big to-do with national football. Uh, so far, we've made it this, this far on Talking Points, and uh, I haven't raged yet on the show. The only show I haven't raged on, well, at least not on camera. But anyway... So, on today's episode of Talking Points, we'll talk about the Denver Broncos and the Carolina Panthers. Again, no, we're not. Uh, just kidding. We'll uh, really talk about last week's videos and our video recap, like always. Then we'll go over a new show, which we're working on right now, that'll give, and, you know, give you a sneak peek at what's going, going on there. And what we're cooking up here at, uh, or up in TOC Studios. Yeah, that really came out pretty well, but anyway, you'll get to see a sneak peek of what we're cooking up here at TOC Studios. Uh, we'll, also, we're gonna, we'll also go over this week's Brain Bending Mobile Game Madness Game of the Week, which I find really fun and really challenging, but stay tuned for that. And we'll follow everything up finally with our uh, namesake of our show, which we've named that this since uh, I think episodes four or five. But anyway, now that we've got all that laid out, laid down on the table with my new little bobbleheads, you really can't see them there, so back them up a little bit, are uh, talking points. So now that we've all that, got all that laid out on the table, let's get talking. Yeah, I know. I've been really... It's been a long week. So uh, last week, Josh and myself began the week with us continuing on our quest in Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. I hate that game. I hate it with a passion. I've never been able to beat the thing. It's really just, the whole playthrough has been one big giant rage fest for both of us. Uh, we're pretty much on the verge of quitting. I don't know if we'll be doing that this today or not. Um, I can't remember. Uh, stay tuned to see if we do. Uh, that should be pretty funny if we do. You know, everybody's been like, have you beaten a Mario game yet? Yeah, we beat Yoshi's Island. It's the only game we've ever beaten. Well. The only game that we've beaten aside from what we did in, you know, our extra life.org thing. But anyway, next up we continued our race through the Mushroom Kingdom in Mario Kart 64 with the Special Cup and a bonus battle mode and fourth place finish ending, as well as our Calamari Desert blooper reel. Yeah. I suck at the I suck at the racing games. I'll I'll, I'll admit that I am not the best racer. But you know, we had fun doing it. I enjoy Mario Kart 64. Even if I lose, I still have fun playing it. After that, you know, we kind of took on our 100 Mario challenge, which also proved to be not really a challenge for both of us. Apparently, everybody likes auto-completion, or however Josh put it. It's pretty much just the game does it for you. Maps, yeah. Those were way too fucking easy, and even I, I mean, I started like trying to play a level and Josh was like, dude, just sit still. Sat still, done. You know, after that we took on to our more sporty side, and took on the Doritos Crash Course game. Now this game is actually pretty fun. It's kind of like a American Ninja Warrior or something like that. I can't remember, the, like Wipeout, Wipeout, that's it. Wipeout, and uh, Doritos sponsors it, so. Anyway, we took on the American and European courses with very funny results. I mean, wasn't really that hard, but at the same time, it was really annoying how we always get knocked down. After that, Josh took on my Fetch Quest challenge that I made for him, which we went with an 80s theme. Yeah, I really like rocking the 80s. What can I say? Finally, we rounded out the week with Josh getting some mumbo pumpkin pie in Banjo-Kazooie, and I did my typical Rage Out and Super Meat Boy. I tried to collect, there was like, I finally beat the salt, the salt Factory and moved on into Hell. Well, Hell proved to me just how pissed off I can get at a game. I, I ended up trying to collect the bandage and I was like, nope, 
Not doing it. It's not worth it. I must have said it's not worth it like five times in that video. It, you know, I started out really good and then ultimately just started to meet the fail fairy head on. Ugh, I'm sorry, a little indigestion there. Whew. But anyway, now that we're done with the recap, let's go ahead and uh, take a look and see what we're cooking up here in TOC Studios. What's up everybody? I'm Josh and this is HPO, TOC's brand new gaming inspired cooking show. And today's dish is inspired by Legend of Zelda's most notorious yet lovable bird, the cuckoo. So, we're going to be making sweet and sour cuckoo strips. Every time that you lose a game or lose an online match, you know, you lose HP. So, eat some of this food, replenish that HP, bring that HP back up. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, sneak peek at what we have in our, well, kitchen of goodness that is the TOC, the top K, or the TOC Studios kitchen. Nah, we haven't got a real name for it yet. But uh, anyway, let's move on to this week's mobile game madness. This week's game of the week is Einstein's Logic Riddle Puzzle by, man, that's a mouthful. Einstein's Logic Riddle Puzzle by Rots Games. In this game, basically, you take on, well, you really don't take on a role of anything. It's just a puzzle game, but it's a fun and challenging puzzle game. And the fact that you've got four, maybe multiple columns of, you know, it starts off easy with four and then moves on, I think, from that to like 16 to 16 or some other large number. But anyway, you take on columns that have different, you know, different items in them, and then you have to match them up with what the hints give, what the hint, what the hints you're given tell you to put them with. Now, it doesn't give you an exact idea of who gets what, but you kind of have to figure it out. So, it's a challenging, mind-bending puzzle game, which I enjoy those. And I know a lot of gamers out there, they're like, well, why are you talking about a puzzle game? That really isn't much of a game. That's more of a puzzle or a, like Sudoku or Crossword. Hear me out on this. This game is actually really fun and really addictive. I found myself sitting there for about a couple of hours just playing through a bunch of levels, and I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, there aren't really any flaws with it, so this game's getting a 5 out of 5 from me. I know, a really short one. You can find it on the Apple App Store and Google Play, but trust me, it's really worth it. Well, now that I've got the mobile game madness out of the way, let's move on to our talking points. Last week I asked you, the viewers, what was your favorite 90s show? For our fancers, we have Jen who writes, Well, too many to name, but in terms of sitcoms, I always enjoyed Family Matters and Full House. In terms of cartoons, I like watching Recess on Saturday, and yeah, it's running a little slow, sorry, on Saturday mornings. There we go. I read a little bit faster than my teleprompter that I use for the points. So yeah. Uh, Nicole says, like all shows, uh, she, well, Nicole says, like all of the shows on Nick, Hello, she says, LOL, hey Arnold, Fairly Odd Parents, all that, Chalk Zone, I could go on. Yeah, I had to include her LOL in there because I take every point literally, so there you go, Nicole. You got you got me to say LOL on camera. Valerie writes, David the Gnome when I was little, and Are You Afraid of the Dark when I was older. Both of those, I've never saw David the Gnome, but I have seen the meme of David looking like he's about to slap somebody yelling, I'm about to slap your shit, and after that I started checking it out, and it's a good little cartoon. For our team answers, we have Josh, who answered with Rugrats, bitch. Yeah, he went straight gangster with Rugrats. And Ren and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life, and Sonic Saturn, which Saturn was Saturday AM. So thanks everybody for uh, your answers. And now we want to know, what is your favorite Nintendo game or series? For me, I'd have to say it was Legends of Zelda. I really started out my Nintendo experience like with any console in Nintendo playing uh, Legends of Zelda I, you know a lot of people started off with Mario I did play Mario and I did play Duck Hunt so I have that knowledge of what those are but Legends of Zelda was really the game I kept going back to because I really wanted to play that and enjoy it I've played most of them in the series but I've missed out on most of the N64 GameCube and Wii games because I moved strictly to Sony after a while and was really focused on that. Now that I've come back to Nintendo, I've, really, I've recently picked up Majora's Mask and I need to pick up Ocarina of Time so I can try those out, but you know, I'm trying to build up that library so I can play it. But anyway, 
What's your answer for this week's uh, talking point? Let us know in the comments below for a uh, awesome shout out. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Talking Points. Make sure you head on over to the Facebook, Twitter, and the webpage to stay up to date with all things TOC. And you can also uh, check us out, well, on Twitch every now and then. Sometimes we might hop on Twitch. But other than that, thanks for watching. And uh, as always, keep talking. Hey everyone, Deadpool here. I know, I know, I'm a movie star now and an awesome mercenary. But in between all of that fun stuff, sometimes I just like to show up in random places and eat a chimichanga, maybe show off some of my awesomeness that is, you know, me being Deadpool. Anywho, if you want to, if you know, if you want to subscribe to more awesome stuff, you can click on uh, this little wonderful version of me, or, you know, if you want to see another video, you can click on, uh, well, he's backwards, but hey, you can click his ass if you want to, to watch another awesome video.